Jim Acosta from CNN tries to obtain comment from Marjorie Taylor Greene on the street in Project Veritas fashion, but fails miserably. Answers. Did you send a text asking for the president to declare martial law? Did you I, do that? You know, I don't recall that. So Acosta confronts Marjorie Taylor Greene on part of her text message. In our private chat with only members, several are saying the only way to save our republic is for Trump to call for martial law. Have you read the text message that is that you're referring to? I did. Because yeah, it I actually it was, says if you... It was if misspelled, you, but it seemed well, to say actually that it says for martial if, law. if you read it correctly, Jim, your problem is, is you're lying again right now. But he omits the latter part of her text message where she says, I don't know on those things. I just wanted you to tell him. And she calls him out on it. It says, I do uh -huh. not know on those things. That's what that text message oh, why, actually okay, says. Well, let me no, ask why you don't this. you be honest? Why even bring it no, up? Why, don't why you even honest? bring up? No, I don't no, recall. Quote, I don't the, recall. Quote I don't the recall. supposed text message. Requo quote it. So when you're doing these things, you usually want to have the material like printed out or at least don't doctor or deceptively edit the thing that you're quoting. Well, Jim Acosta failed to do both of those things. So he stops, take out his grandmother's reading glasses and proceeds to sort of fumble and bumble and quote this text message. I mean, yeah. My question no, is, No, read it out loud. Even... What does it actually say? Okay. What is the text message? Read the whole thing. Let's look at it. Okay. Yeah, let's read it. But you're saying you don't recall it. He, oh, oh, yep. He doctored that part out. So then he's just sort of changes the subject. I don't know if that's my text message or not, okay. but if you want to talk about a text message, read the text message. Hang on a second. In our private chat with only members, several are saying the only way to save our republic is for Trump to call for martial law. Martial was don't not spelled. Keep going I with don't, the text message. I don't know on those things. Wait, I just wanted me, you stop. to tell him. I don't know on those they things. Is that what that says? Then Acosta calls her defensive after he misrepresented the message and she called him out for it. Read the actual words that tells another story. It right, tells but the you're, truth. you're being awfully defensive. Have a good one, Jim. Yeah, recall. when you want to be honest and you actually that. want to want to talk about me as a real person and present me fairly, then I'll talk to you. But until then, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Let me ask you this. No, I don't if want you are if you don't know, we're you're done. Subpoenaed to Stop testify harassing by me. The January Stop 6th harassing committee. me. Now, to be fair, she does accuse him of harassment. This is not harassment, a journalist doing this. But he just comes off unprepared, blundering, completely unprofessional. Jim Acosta, you got to come to Project Veritas train to figure out how to do this, man. Hey there, Matt. James O'Keefe, Project Veritas. How you doing? Are you Vanessa? Vanessa Gellman, I'm a reporter with Project Veritas. Miss, what else are you hiding from the public? Sky. Miss, what else are you hiding from the public? The public needs to know. What do you think about that? Are you pleading the Fifth Amendment with me right now? Do better, Jim Acosta.